Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com and today I would like to introduce you to one of the healing angels. Uh, he goes by the name of Archangel Raphael. And I will do this like I've done the previous videos. If you haven't checked those out and want to learn about some Archangel information, there are three other ones before this one. And this information comes from a variety of sources that I have studied over the last 20 or so years. So the meaning of Raphael's name, traditionally, is God heals or the medicine of God. Uh, uh, Raphael's primary function in the angelic hosts is a healer. His colors are gold and yellow traditionally, and the planet is Mercury, because when you call on Raphael, he is one of the faster <laughs> angels. Uh, they're all instantaneously fast, but it feels different with Raphael. It's amazing. The day of the week usually associated with Raphael is Wednesdays, and the time is dawn facing east. Uh, the element generally associated traditionally in a lot of the traditional groups is the air or wind element. And there's a variety of different stones. Generally you go with ones that are yellowish in color. So you've got yellow agate, adventuring, um, oddly enough emerald and green jade, but also yellow quartz and yellow diamonds. Uh, the metal is mercury because it was believed at one point <laughs> years ago that mercury had healing potential if used properly, but they never quite figured out how to do it without harming, so it is what it is. But that is the traditional metal associated with Archangel Raphael. Uh, with the chakra um, system, he is associated with actually the third eye, the sixth chakra but also the heart, because he heals and your physical body as well as your emotional body. And when those are in, in balance and in health, it opens up your third eye. So there's a whole bunch of associations there. Um, he works with healing and balancing, but also wholeness and mending even emotional damages between people. So he's all about finding unity amongst people and helping you find things that were lost or as a, an aid in learning. So if you are a student or you're working on a new um, practice or study, something you're researching, using Archangel Raphael's energy is a good way to bring that in to help you focus better. And one of his side abilities, if you'll call it that, is he's a very strong guide with creativity. It's a really good way to tap into that creative energy or if you're feeling kind of like a creative block, calling upon Archangel Raphael helps to work through those blocks, maybe um, finish that side project and come back to the one you're, main, you're working on, but he's a good way to help you work through that. Um, and I use the term spiritual weapon here just as something that they carry with them and it's how they do what they do. And with Raphael, it's actually the catechus, the two snakes swirled around the cross which what we use now in a lot of medical professions has been a healing tool going back millennia, really. And if you're interested in Kabbalah, Raphael is associated with Tifareth, which is the heart on the tree of life. And he is part of the choir of the Melakim. Um, and the choir thing is, uh, it's one I've, I'm trying to understand better, but it is definitely interesting to wander through it, so to say. Uh, more modern associations with Raphael is the color green. And from my understanding of working with the angels, when we're talking about the traditional colors, and I've mentioned this before, but just to reiterate, we're talking about their physical forms. So when you see them in meditation in a physical aspect, when they actually show up to you and you can see faces, those are those colors. So for Raphael, it's yellows and golds with whites, very bright, very vibrant healing type colors. But with his energy, his aura, 
actually comes over as green. So if you're only seeing him in a energetic form or you're just kind of seeing that haze that's like a circle around him, that will generally come across as green. Um, more modern stones in today's cultures is citrine, things like amber, um, even carnelian, even though it's a little bit more orange than yellow, it still carries a healing energy, which is why it's associated with Raphael. And the one that I'm really confused by <laughs> is the modern day association with metal for Raphael, because it's technically a poison, and yet they associate it with Raphael. There's really no medical benefit to this metal, which is aluminum, and there's no... <laughs> In any research that I've done, I've never found any positive association with aluminum in health. Um, mercury, they actually do know now how to use it as a healing ointment, if nothing else, but there is nothing I've ever found beneficial about aluminum, so it's weird that that's associated with Archangel Raphael. But for me, and this is some of my personal <laughs> work with him, uh, Raphael tends to come across when I'm doing healing sessions, whether it's an aura reading, or it's an oracle card reading, or one of the other modalities of energy work that I have been trained in over the years. Um, and it's whether I'm working with others or myself, if I'm looking for physical healing, I tend to have Raphael show up. If it's emotional healing, it's usually Raphael and Gabriel that will come in to help deal and work through that emotional um, chaos that can occur. Uh, he carries, mas uh, Raphael carries with him very masculine energy, and I tend to see him as a male figure when he shows up. When he does show up, he comes from the east almost always with a warm breeze that tends to have the smells of spring, of like new growth, of citrus, and it's when it shows up citrus, it's very strong, like a mixture of orange and lemon. It's really, really fragrant and warm herbs, the basils, cinnamons, the nutmegs, those ones that when you smell them you just feel comfort comforted like you're at Christmas at home. It's just it's a really comforting spicy smell that shows up with him. Uh, as I mentioned before his tunic generally is golden yellow, white, um, and he, he doesn't... the one thing with Raphael that I've always found interesting the other angels tend to show up with their wings extended, so you see them, like you know what you're dealing with. Uh, Raphael will show up in kind of a no-nonsense way. He's not as stern as <laughs> Uriel by any stretch. But he shows up ready for work, and to him, the wings are kind of in the way, so he doesn't always show them. But when he does, they tend to be uh, white with like a gold shimmer on the tips. They're very, very beautiful when he decides to... <laughs> have them out. Um, he always carries his catechus, which is the two snakes wrapped around the staff, and it's a tool for healing. It's a way to transmute that or transmit the healing energy. It's also to show you that he actually is who you called. <laughs> um, he always has a very gentle countenance. It's like when he looks at you, it's with compassion. There is a little bit of a sternness in his emerald green eyes. But he is there to help you, and sometimes healing requires a little bit of a... You have some work to do and change some things in your life. So just be aware of that when you work with him. Uh, he tends to like very wide open spaces where the wind can just move. It's very airy, windows open type thing. So when you are trying to really connect with him at the first, if you can, do it near an open window. Have like a yellow candle burning, and um, some really warming incense if you are into incense, but just kind of fall into that pattern of having it very open and airy when you work with Raphael, at least at the beginning so you can really get the connection built. Um, he also, because he's, <laughs> he's a scholarly person, he likes institutes of education. Now when I say that I do not mean schools. He finds them stuffy. So does everyone else. But, but he likes places like libraries, bookstores, especially health food stores where there's books and health food. And he it's not always like vegetarianism, which a lot of people, when they say hear health food, they go that direction. 
but free range, organic, you know, things that were raised by hand and cared for in gentle ways and not, you know, the, the more rough versions of life. But he wants people to learn. So anywhere where there's a student of some form, whether you're a journeyman, um, plumber or electrician and you're working as an apprentice under a master or if it's like a student learning from a teacher he really wants to be there and help educate and inform and enlighten the next uh, level of information uh, when you're working with Archangel Raphael indoors as I said you want to sit near an open window if you can at dawn facing east is a really good time to really make those initial connections. You can connect with Raphael at any point in time, and it doesn't really matter if the doors are open or not. But if you really want, if you're starting out and you're kind of doubting yourself, or if you're struggling a little bit, taking the time to find an east-facing window, opening it up if you can, having a yellow candle that is lit near you, um, have a yellow stone or something gold-colored so that you can hold it and just kind of tap into that energy field. An emerald is another good stone to have um, because they tend to be very healing in nature, uh, just in general healing. So you can work with that and really tap into asking, um, taking some deep breaths, really tapping into that air element, and then as you're breathing slowly and just allow that energy to build and keep your focus on Archangel Raphael and ask divine God source energy to send Archangel Raphael to you so that you can start to build that relationship and connection with this particular Archangel and when you when he first arrives my best advice is to work on discussing things about health or healing with him, even if it's just in general, or if it's, is there something small I can do today to improve my overall health? And just go that direction. As you get more acquainted with him and you start to really understand the energy better, you can expand that to any form of education, learning, um, some communication as well, because air is all about communication, and so Raphael tends to work with communication. Um, if you're having issues like between you and another person, and you want to open up that door and heal that communication gap, this is the angel you want to work with because his he's all about bringing unity and balance to things, and that's a huge one is breaching and fixing um, communication between people. If you can be out, outdoors, which I'm an outdoorsy person, so I prefer <laughs> doing a lot of my meditations and angel work especially, at least outdoors. If I can do it on my porch, if that's all I can ha get, that's what I deal with. Or I will go out into the woods because where I live I can actually do that. And if you have the opportunity, I highly recommend it because it's just an entirely different way of connecting. And if you like to go camping, this is a good thing to do in this respect. Is if you can go camping, find out what direction the sun rises in, which is the east, and face the east at dawn. And be in a place that opens is open, so you can see as the sun peaks over the skyline. And raise your hands up as the sun rises and ask Divine God Source Energy to send Archangel Raphael to you. And you will feel a much more, I don't want to use the word intense, but a much more palpable expression of Raphael in those types of moments where you can be more outdoorsy. And when you're first starting out, it's really super good for the confirmation. It just makes you aware that these angels are there. Their energy is very, very, very powerful. And it's worth taking the time to get to know them because we can all use more allies in our life and the angels are an amazing source of healing energy, of guidance. Um, the one thing from a pers my personal perspective is I don't worship the angels. I worship God source energy, however that manifests through the Lord and Lady or, uh, you know, the different faces of God. But the angels are actually a created entity as well, like we are. They're just on a higher energy frequency. So we can ask them for help and guidance 
but that's the reason I use the phrase comment when I'm when you're first connecting with them is to ask God source energy to send the angel to you so that you are building a relationship kind of like a working relationship but it's a lot more uh, friendly you're building a friendship with these angels and so when you work on that premise it doesn't make them far superior it makes us on the same field they just happen to be a higher team basically and they are more than willing to work with us they love to help whenever they can that's part of <laughs> being an angel um, so if you have any questions or comments or you know critiques you can leave them in the comment section below all I ask is that you be respectful um, if you enjoy what I am doing with the channel you can like and subscribe I do appreciate that and if you think that this is the kind of information that others may enjoy go ahead and share the video and I will talk to you guys in the next video and I will be doing the next angel video I'll be doing will be another of the lesser known angels but it's one that I um, I've had some interesting experiences with so stay tuned for that one it will be dropping around the end of July I think is my schedule um, but we'll see what happens I will talk to you guys later have an awesome week